Hey everybody, it's Ducky. I'm going to do another update. So I want to kind of let you know what was going on from the last time we talked. Or I put up a video. <laughs> Whatever. Um, I had my doctor's appointment on Wednesday of this week. And I found out what was actually wrong with my knee. So what is wrong is your patella sits on the front of your knee. And the arterial cartilage that surrounds that, mine has it been crushed. So... I can actually show you the picture. Hopefully the glare won't be horrendous. Um, okay. So, right here you can see, like, it, this is the cartilage that surrounds your patella. This is inside my knee. And you can see that it's kind of, like, really frail. This is um, actually where he pushed it back and it never came back. This is it originally before he pushed it with a probe. There's actually a probe right here. I'm not sure if you can see that. But, um, so that's what's wrong with my knee. And he said it really is never going to get better. I'm never going to be 100% again in my life. That was kind of devastating to me. I kind of freaked out and had like a total meltdown. <laughs> I, I cried for like two days because it's like I'm 26 years old. I really don't think I should have like a condition like this over something stupid like plain laser tag. So the only recommendation he he gave me two things. I can't I need to avoid at all cost squatting, kneeling and climbing stairs. And I'm like, "Wow, there goes like tons of my exercises that I do." Um and then also to lose weight. So my goal isn't personal now. Now it's like I have to because it's going to ease the weight on my knee and it's going to make it to where I can do things more. So I really want to focus on losing, not just losing weight, but strengthening, strengthening my lower body. Like that's something I really want to work on because if my muscles are strong, then it's going to help support my knee and support that cartilage and make less pain for me. Because basically what he said is you're going to be on narcotics the rest of your life. And I'm the type of, I hate taking pills like I don't even take them like I'm supposed to right now. The only thing I do take regularly is my vitamins. So, which I think I already talked about. I'm taking krill oil, which is, it's really nice. It's giving me a lot of energy. I haven't really started working out this week because with what he said, it's an excuse, I know, but I was just kind of taken back by it and needed to kind of center myself and get myself back into that mode. Because when you're told that, it's kind of like crutches you because... I work in a field where I need my knees, I need to be able to squat and lift things from the ground to a treatment table. I'm a veterinary assistant going to school to get my technician's license and stuff like that. And I'm just finishing school and now I have a messed up knee. Well, a lot of hospitals aren't going to want that so I need to put myself in the best position I could possibly be so I can be the best not only for my job but for myself and for my future family. So it's kind of what I wanted to update you guys on. Um, I'm going to debating on, I'll use my weight that I started this morning and I'll write it on my calendar. Well, I'm going to write it for tomorrow, not for today. But, um, my starting weight is actually, I thought it was funny when I weighed myself this morning, 222.22. So 222.22. And that's going to be my starting weight. And by, I'm hoping by the end of the summer, I'll be at least down to 150. So that's roughly 70 pounds, which I think I can totally do, even eating crappy, as long as I get in enough exercise. And I'm going to be doing water aerobics and things like that to kind of help ease the stress on my knee. So that's my game plan. <laughs> and I'm going to try and stick to that. Um, I probably will be posting another video sometime this week, just kind of... To reiterate what I'm going to do, I want to write down all my goals. I haven't really had a chance to. I've been trying to catch up on all my homework because literally I have nine days of school left. So, excited. <laughs> um, that's about it. So, I hope you guys are having a great weekend and I will see you guys later. Bye.